Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. Wanted to jump in with a real quick update here on the uh, group build for senior, the tribute build for senior there. Uh, and actually, guys, when I when I did my entry video, I I didn't give an update the last time. I I actually was remiss. I did not uh, mention uh, the guys that are actually hosting this, and that is Brian over at Got Fuels Model Car Garage and Fred Henry at West Georgia Rods and Customs. Uh, so I want to make sure uh, to mention those guys. Uh, they're uh, links to their channels will be in the description of this video, uh, so be sure to go check those guys out too. Great that they're putting this thing on. Uh, so far, uh, for what I've got done, I'm having fun building this one, uh, even though it is an old AMT big rig. Uh, There's just something cool about them anyways, and uh, and we shall press on with it. Uh, but no, no guys, not a whole lot of problems on this uh, up to this point. Uh, I did have a, a couple of little fitment issues uh, once I figured out uh, what they were getting at. Uh, it, it kind of started going along really well. Uh, mocked up basically right now. Uh, what I've got here is I've got the, the wheels mocked up just so I could get uh, the cab setting, uh, make sure it was in the right position. And I, I actually jumped ahead in the instructions. Um, probably maybe, maybe I shouldn't have, but I felt it necessary uh, to get everything lined up the way it should be. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this cab off. Uh, it was just sitting on there. I have done nothing with the cab yet. This is just right out of the box. Uh, just got the interior pressed up in there so I could get it setting down if that was going to cause any problems or not. Uh, so nothing done with the cab yet. I still haven't got this flash off of here. So that was just sitting on there. I uh, did get the engine painted. Um, I, I'm going to have to touch it up just a little bit. Uh, first, I'll just pull this in here real quick, show you where I'm at. Uh, there's the engine so far. Uh, in that correct Alpine green, Detroit diesel Alpine green. Um, just got it fitted up. Uh, I opted to go with a single exhaust on this one, guys, only because all of my other rigs have dual exhaust. And I figure, you know, why not be just a little bit different on this one? And we'll go with the, uh, we'll go with the single. So I actually, uh, it called, uh, to put this pipe on, uh, at this stage, you know, even before I got the whole chassis painted, but, uh, there's those Dayton wheels on the front there. Check it out, guys. Uh, this one rolls. I don't know if it will when I'm completely done. This one's a little more stiff, but, uh, like I said, I just got them setting on there and I'm going to try to pull them off here. Yeah. So, uh, cause I'm afraid I'm going to lose them as I move the thing around here. We'll get those out of the road there. I'll pull the engine out anyway, but there's the engine so far guys. And I've got some wrinkling on the valve cover here. Uh, not so much on this one, and if I have just a little bit, guys, it's only going to add some realism because I plan to uh, weather this up just a little bit, and there's some spots down in there that did not get paint, so what I'll probably do is I'll go back over and uh, do some uh, touch-up brush painting on these and uh, just get down in there, and then we'll just add just a little bit of weathering to it. Uh, I got these uh, seams filled for the most part. I'm not going to worry about them a whole lot because actually on some of these casings, I believe you could see some certain mold lines uh from the the molds that they went through so that's kind of added a little bit of realism to that as well uh, because this cab will tilt forward and you'll be able to see all this so i want it uh, detailed uh, as best i can now on my big rigs guys i don't usually run uh any extra diesel uh fuel lines or anything or ejector lines but only because i don't know that much about the real thing so i would not you know if i did it i'd want to try to be as accurate as possible so it's basically uh my big rigs are basically uh, right out of the box, but I will do I do my best to add uh, extra detail and uh, and a little bit of light weathering to them uh, as far as that goes. So there's the engine. Uh, I got the fan painted there. Got that fan painted. Uh, I got the belt the belt system here, pretty much painted. And I did this with acrylic. Uh, I think it was with the Vallejo black what i did this with so i want to go take some satin uh take some satin uh and brush over that belt just kind of help seal that uh seal that acrylic paint in so got the belt and i uh, got the filter here this is a fuel filter i just did it in a blue got that done and then this will be the starter it should be ready it should be ready to go got a little fuzz on there but that should be ready to go as well and that's actually all the parts that I've got painted, guys. And the chassis here, I'll show you what I went ahead and jumped forward with. I got all the front suspension in. Uh, the rear axles are in. They're all glued fast. Even glued the drive shaft in there. Uh, but here's where I jumped ahead. I went ahead and put the cab mounts on. And actually, that's actually jumping 
That one's just a little bit crooked. I don't know if I can maybe try to straighten that up, but it just went on there a little crooked. Uh, what I did is I uh, went from uh, went from this chassis, went from the chassis assembly page here, and actually I jumped all the way around. They actually don't have you putting those cab mounts on until like the last page of the instructions, which would be right, right here. Uh, but I went ahead and put those on, like I said, because I wanted to get, I wanted to get the wheels, uh, because the fitment wasn't the greatest on the front axle here. Uh, and it didn't actually, you see, you got a gap where this lip is here. You got a gap on each side. Uh, so I wanted to make sure I got that fairly centered. And I think by doing what I did, it looked pretty good, uh, with the, with the, uh, cab setting on it. Uh, I'll just throw one of these back on here real quick. And then we get the cab setting up here. I don't know this. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but but anyway, that that's got a that's that'll have a pretty good alignment there. And then again, it makes sure uh, that it, it lines up with the brackets in the front. And actually, guys, I like how they did this. Uh, they put your cab tilt brackets uh, right on here on the frame. But the part I do not like is in here, there's no positive points. Uh, they've got some, like, uh, holes in here, like little little marks. Uh, but there's nothing real positive on there. So that's going to be a trick, uh, getting those other ones lined up uh, to be able to get on there and then uh, glue them fast in order so that cab can tilt like it's supposed to. But uh, uh, light, light progress, guys, but it's progress nonetheless. Uh, we got some, uh, like I say, we got some things going. We pretty much got the chassis done. I still have to decide on colors, guys, what I'm going to go with. I got some ideas, uh, but uh, I've not fully decided yet. So hopefully on the next update on this uh, 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 tribute build for Senior, uh, we'll be able to at least, at least tell you what colors I'm going with on this. So, uh, guys, that's really... All this was about, uh, so I'd say the engine's painted. I got to do some touch up on that valve cover and, uh, and from there. Uh, but as far as that goes, uh, we're coming along another drive shaft there. It'll slip in when I get the engine mounted solid and then our extra other parts here we've got painted. Uh, but that's it so far, guys, just a little quick update for you. Uh, it's coming along. Uh, like I said, uh, see guys already, uh, doing their reveals and everything. But like I said, this is going to be it's going to be probably quite a long ride, guys, because you know, there's a lot that goes into building these rigs, and uh, you never know what kind of issues you're going to run into, and then just the fact of uh, just doing as nice a job as possible. So, uh, all right, guys, that's all I got for tonight. Uh, thanks for stopping by the garage for the update. Uh, if you guys like the video, uh, give me a like, share, subscribe, and comment, all the good stuff. So until next time, this is Eric from Eric's Model Garage. You guys have a great day. God bless you, and happy modeling. Thank you.